You decided you want to lose weight. You figured it out. You think a pound a week is going to be manageable for you, and you want to know how to do that. I got you. With your weight loss goal, you decided to count calories. So we figured out, for the simplest of explanation, 3,000 is your maintenance calories. So for that one pound weight loss, you need a 3,500 calorie deficit over the week. So counting calories, there's a few different ways you can break it down. You can do the exact same deficit each day. So 3,000 calories of maintenance, 3,500 calories would be 500 calorie deficit each day. This is a simple, easy math of 500 calories below, so that's 2,500 daily calories. You can do that all seven days, and it will get you to your 3,500 calorie deficit. Simple, easy, number stays the same, and that's good for most people. It really is. If you want the simplicity and knowing what you're gonna have and no changes, that works. Some people like to cycle their calories. What that means is some days you're gonna have higher and some days you're gonna have lower, depending on how you wanna structure your cycles. You can do a calorie taper instead of having it. So for some people, it's easier to be more dedicated early in the week. Let me show you what it looks like. So here, you start off Monday with an 800 calorie deficit. So 3,000 minus 800, that's 2,200. Tuesday, you go down to 700, it's 2,300. By the end of the week, this still equals a 3,500 calorie deficit, which you need to have, but each day your calories go up. So if it's easier for you to be better early in the week and then taper down to have more calories as you get towards the weekend and you're doing stuff, this could be a good route for you to go. Now you can play with this too. You could have maybe a second 500 calorie day and have maintenance calories on Sunday. There are a few different options when it comes to that and what suits and works best for you. Another way to cycle your calories is what I like to call maintenance weekends. So on the weekends, you just go up to maintenance calories. So in this case, we're gonna use a simple number of 3000 Whereas to lose a pound a week, you have to have a 3,500 calorie deficit. So you would have to take 3,500 and divide it by five. So in this case, that's 700 calories. So you would have five days at 2,300 calories and two days at 3,000 calories for your maintenance. If so, that would give you Monday through Friday at 2,300, 3,000 on the weekends for you to enjoy yourself, but still make progress. All right, so you're cycling your calories, but you wanna have more energy to train and to really push yourself. We can do that too. So cycling your calories that way is gonna look something like this. So let's say you're doing three days a week, but you wanna have more calories on those days. So three days, and we're still gonna do a deficit of 200 calories. So that's a total of 600 calories on those days, which is gonna leave you with about 2,900 if you still wanna lose a pound a week. So you're gonna to have to divide that out so you'll have four days with a deficit of 725, which equals the rest of those calories. So that's going to put you at 2275 on your non-training days for calories. So you'll have a small deficit on your training days, a larger deficit on your non-training days, which will still equal out to your 3,500 calorie deficit, which would still get you roughly one pound of fat loss a week if you can hit this. Now, each one has their benefits of different cycles of calories. Some people just like to know that, hey, I have 2,300 calories every day and that's what I'm gonna hit, and it, they don't gotta think about it too much, they just know what they're gonna be. So that's good for those people that want the simplest way to go about it. Maintenance weekend is good for someone who, is, who has trouble on the weekends. If you can be very strict during the week, then but fall apart on the weekends, this may be the route to take for you where it allows you to have a little more freedom and flexibility while still reaching your goals. And then having higher calories on your training day is good for those who want to really get after it in the gym and want to put your energies there and want to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. This allows you to train harder, recover better, but still reach your goals of losing weight and cutting fat. You know, the thing about it is, as long as your calories align, they're all gonna work. It comes down to which one suits you, and you maybe try one week at even, maybe try one week in the week, one week where you have more calories on the weekends, and maybe try one week where you're pushing hard on training days. There's no wrong answer to this. It's simply what works best for you. Hope this helps. If you like this content, give me a like, give me a follow. If you got questions, hit it up in the comments.